What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. We are back working on the 65 Mustang Fastback again. We're gonna do a little bit of brake work on it. Um, get some of the back brakes finished up on it. Well, get the back brakes finished up on it other than adjusting them. Uh, get the front calipers bolted back on, get master cylinder taken off and switched over to a double master cylinder that we're putting on it instead of the old single one that's factory that's terrible and in not in very good shape. So uh, make sure you like, subscribe, share with your friends. Let's get to the action. All right, we got the old master cylinder and the new master cylinder. You can see the old single bowl. Not very efficient. Uh, you can actually see it was rotted. Get my camera to focus. You can see it was actually rotted and leaking pretty bad. It actually filled this boot up. There you can see down in there. It was completely full of fluid. So we got them off and we'll get that one bolted back on. We'll get that cleaned up and installed later. But we'll get that bolted on and the customer didn't get the lines for it to adapt over from this one to this one. So I just got to make a couple of short lines and should be able to get it bolted right up. You can see where I got the master cylinder taken out. We got to run a line down here to a portioning valve and got to run a line here to this T for the front. So first I'm going to clean this up a little bit right here and then I'll get the master cylinder bolted up and then we can get the lines bent up and one of the fittings is bigger so I'm going to cut the line that I make and put the proper fitting on it so it is no adapters or anything like that so uh, let's get this bolted on and get going See back here, all we did was new shoes, springs, wheel cylinder. I didn't even replace the adjuster down here because it was in good shape and turned just fine. So, and of course, we got some painted rubber drums. Boy, I can't say anything right today. If I get this on with one hand, there we go. We also got in the oil pressure gauge and water temp gauge that we're going to install just to make sure we know what this 347 is doing. So we'll get to that probably in the next two days. I may do it tomorrow morning when I come in when I'm clean and get them mounted at least. So let's move on to something else. I got all the front suspension done and got the brake rotors and or I'm sorry, got the calipers back on. Got the rear brakes all done, new springs, everything like that, wheel cylinders in the back. So I went ahead and threw a couple of the new wheels on it just so we could see what it looks like. It's definitely gonna give it a much better old school look, a proper look for this car. You can go over here. You can see we got a new master cylinder, a double master cylinder, and had to make a couple of lines and form them. 
zoom down in there. The one that goes to the proportioning valve, um, the adjuster for the back brakes, the proportioning valve for them, and then it goes to that T right there for the front. I'll wait till in the morning to come back in and put the rod back inside on the brake pedal. When I'm clean, I'm not climbing around inside the interior when I'm all dirty. So we'll get this all cleaned up and I'll install it tomorrow.